immature eggs are eggs that cannot be fertilized. And there is some belief that the higher number of immature eggs you create, the risk of having less embryos and lower pregnancy rate is possible. This last study investigated whether having a high number of immature eggs in an IVF cycle might negatively affect the chances of developing good embryos or achieving a live birth. The concern is common. Patients and clinics often worry that retrieving many immature eggs could mean low fertility success. To answer this question, researchers looked back at 22,117 treatment cycles between 2014 and 2023 at a single academic center. They grouped the cycles based on proportion of eggs that were mature, ready to fertilize, versus those which were immature, which could not be used, and we basically had the wrong set of chromosomes. The team used of six sophisticated statistical matching to ensure the groups were fair and balanced for factors such as age, body mass index, hormone levels. This way, the results would reflect the effect of egg maturity and not other differences. The groups included cycles with very low mature eggs, less than 25%, low proportion, less than 50%, and cycles where all eggs were mature. The results were clear and encouraging. While cycles with more immature eggs did result in fewer embryos being available, the live birth rate per embryo transfer was not significantly different from cycles where all eggs were mature. This means that as long as there are some mature eggs and embryos can be created, the chances of a successful birth remain just as good. However, fewer embryos overall does mean fewer chances for transfer if the first attempt was not successful. So while the cycles are not ideal in terms of numbers, the quality and ultimate chance of a baby per transfer is maintained. The main limitations is that patients who have a very low mature group simply have fewer embryos to work with, so the cumulative pregnancy rate will drop.